For today's lesson, we will be discussing about the differentiation rules for exponential and logarithmic functions. So we will just continue the discussion about derivatives. So this time we will be focusing with exponential and logarithmic functions. So let's start with the derivative of a natural exponential function. The natural exponential function is an exponential function whose base is the natural number e. So we discussed already what is a natural number. So when the base is e, we call it as um, a natural exponential function, which is in the form of f of x equals e raised to x. So its derivative is given by d over dx of e raised to x is equal to e raised to x. So the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x also. This is only true if the exponent of our function is x. But if it's not x, then we will be using um, another form or we will be following a different way on getting the derivative. But if it's just the natural number and then the exponent is x, then its derivative will be e raised to x. Now, for the derivative of a general exponential function, let's say the base is not a natural number. So, an exponential function is a function of the form f of x equals a raised to x. So, this time, uh, the base is a, so it can be any number or any term. And then, the exponent is also x. So, in this function, a is greater than 0 and a is not equal to 1. Its derivative is given by, so we have d over dx of a raised to x is equal to a raised to x times ln of a. So this is only true again if the base is a or it can be any other term and then the exponent is x only. So all you have to do is to follow this form a raised to x times ln of a. So that is for the general exponential function. Now, let's try some examples. So, find the derivative of the function f of x equals 3 raised to x. So, as you can see, this one is exponential function and it follows the form of a raised to x. So, since that is a raised to x, the derivative of that, of a raised to x, is equal to a raised to x times ln of a. So, a here is the base, which is 3. So, therefore, if we write the derivative of that, it will be 3 raised to x times ln of a, which is 3 as well. So this is now the derivative of the function 3 raised to x. Again, you just have to identify first what form it follows and then apply the formula. Next, what is the derivative of the function f of x equals 5 raised to x times e raised to x? Okay, so as you can see here, we have here two terms, 5 raised to x and e raised to x. One follows the form a raised to x and then the other one is e raised to x. Now, since there are two terms and they are being multiplied, we have to apply our product rule. So, remember, the form that we're following for product rule is udv plus vdu. Again, we will be using the product rule since these two terms, 5 raised to x and e raised to x, are being multiplied. So, let's write here, f prime of x is equal to, then let's follow this, u is the 5 raised to x and then v is e raised to x. So, u dv, derivative of v, which is e raised to x, plus v du, v times the derivative of u, which is 5 raised to x. And then from here, let's just simplify this. So we have 5 raised to x. The derivative now of e raised to x, since this is a natural uh, exponential function, that is also e raised to x. Plus, and then we have e raised to x here. Now, uh, we have to get the derivative of 5 uh, raised to x. Since this is in the form of a raised to x, its derivative should be a raised to x times ln of a. So that is 5 raised to x times ln of 5. Okay, so these are now the terms. Now what I will do next here is, uh, you look at the terms. So here in the first one, 5 raised to x times a raised to x. So if we will multiply this, um, it will still be the same as well as the other one. But... Uh, let's rewrite this one here. 
so that you can clearly see later on. So here we have 5 raised to x, e raised to x, plus, and this one is e raised to x, and then the other one, 5 raised to x times ln of 5. So 5 raised to x is being multiplied being multiplied to ln of 5. So we can actually just um, remove 5 raised to x there. And then we have ln of 5. So that you can clearly see. Now, look at the terms from the two expressions. You will notice that they have common factors or common terms. Both of them, they have 5 raised to x and they have e raised to x as well. So what we can do is we can factor out 5 raised to x and e raised to x. So let's factor out 5 raised to x and e raised to x. Okay, because that again is their common term. Now, if we factor out these two terms, 5 raised to x and e raised to x, so this one now will become 1. Okay, because there's no other term left. And then the other side, if you factor out, if you remove 5 raised to x and e raised to x, we will be just left with ln of 5. So we have here plus ln of 5. And then that's it. That is now the derivative of our function. So the derivative now is 5 raised to x times e raised to x times 1 plus ln of 5. Again, what we did here is we factor out the common factors from the two expressions. Next, find y prime given that y is equal to e raised to x minus 1 all over e raised to x plus 1. So as you can see here, we have uh, two terms that are being divided. So that means we have to use the quotient rule. So this is high, this is low. Remember our pattern, it's low d high minus high d low all over low squared. So let's apply it here. So let's write y prime is equal to low d high so we have low d high so derivative of high which is e raised to x minus 1 minus high d low derivative of low all over low squared there now, let's get the derivatives. So, e raised to x plus 1. The derivative of e raised to x minus 1 is just e raised to x. So, you get the derivative of e raised to x uh, as is. It's e raised to x. Derivative of negative 1, it's constant. So, it's 0. And then, the other side, e raised to x minus 1. Here, it's the same case as the first. So, this is also e raised to x. And then here we have e raised to x plus 1 then squared. Now, what we can do here is we can multiply. We can distribute e raised to x to the binomial. So let's distribute this. Let's multiply. So we have e um, raised to 2x. So just take e like a variable. So here we have e raised to x times e raised to x. That's e raised to 2x. And then 1 times e raised to x. So 1. So that will be plus e raised to x. And then minus. Let's do it here also. e raised to 2x. Multiply. And then this one. Minus e raised to x. All over e raised to x plus 1 squared. Now from here. Um. Since we still have the negative, what we need to do is to distribute. So distribute the negative. So we have e raised to 2x plus e raised to x minus e raised to 2x plus e raised to x. All over e raised to x plus 1 squared. Now, what we will do is we will just simplify the numerator. So as you can see, we have here um, e raised to negative. So as you can see, we have here e raised to 2x, and then the other one is negative, so we can cancel that one. And then we're left with e raised to x and e raised to x. So if you add them, 
that will be 2 times e raised to x all over then you can expand this one or you can leave it as like that e raised to x plus 1 squared if you expand that will be uh, e raised to 2x plus 2 times e raised to x plus 1 so there so this is now the derivative Next, let's have the derivative of a natural logarithmic function. So, a natural logarithmic function is a logarithmic function whose base is the natural number e. Thus, the function is of the form uh, f of x equals logarithm of logarithm of x base e or f of x equals ln of x. So, as we know, if it's ln of x, that means the base is the natural number, which is e. Now, given that we have ln of x, if you will get the derivative, the derivative of that will be equal to 1 over x. Again, this is true if the argument here is x only. But if it's not x, then uh, again, we will be doing something, but we will not be discussing that anymore. So, what we have, again, if it's ln of x, so the derivative of that is 1 over x. Now, for the general logarithmic function, so a logarithmic function is a function of the form f of x equals logarithm of x base a, where a is greater than 0 and a is not equal to 1. And x is any positive real number. So its derivative now is given by 1 over x times ln of a. So this is now the format that we're using. You will use this if the function given to you is a general logarithmic function. So we have the logarithm of x base a. Again, this will be true if the argument is x. So if it's different, then we have to use a different formula. But again, we will not be discussing that here. So a is the base. So you just have to follow 1 over x times ln of a. Now let's try this example. Find the derivative of the function y equals ln of x over e raised to x since these two are divided by one another so that means you have to use the quotient rule so this is high this is our low and then uh, let's solve this using the quotient rule y prime is equal to low d high low d high minus high d low which is e of x all over low squared e raised to x squared okay then let's simplify this we have e raised to x ln of x so since this one is a natural logarithmic function its derivative is 1 over x minus and then we have ln of x and then the derivative of e of x or e raised to x is equal to e raised to x as well so we have here this one and then the exponent will be e raised to 2x okay now as you look at the numerator you will notice that both of the terms they have a common term or common factor which is e raised to x so what we will do is we will factor out e raised to x from our numerator so we'll have e raised to x here and then we will be left with 1 over x minus ln of x Again, we factor out this, so the remaining terms will be 1 over x minus ln of x all over e raised to 2x. Okay? Now, from here, you will notice that the numerator and the denominator, they both have e raised to x. So, what we can do is we can cancel out 1 e raised to x. So, take note, this denominator, e raised to 2x, that is also um, e raised to x times e raised to x. So, if you expand. So, that means you can cancel out 1 and then you will be left with 1 e raised to x. So, it will become here uh, 1 over x minus ln of x all over e raised to x. Now, we have to simplify our numerator since this one is a fraction so there's a fraction inside the fraction so we have to simplify it so what we will do is first 
you have to write the numerator as one as one uh, fraction so that means their denominators should be both x so you write x x here one minus now you have to rewrite ln of x as a fraction wherein its denominator is also x so that will be x ln of x so x is the lcd you divide it by the denominator of ln of x which is one times the numerator so that will be x times ln of x all over e raised to x now since they are both have the same denominator we can write them as one which is 1 minus x times ln of x all over x all over e raised to x now that they are um, again a fraction in our numerator so to remove that to simplify we will be getting the reciprocal of the denominator and then multiply it with our numerator so 1 minus x times ln of x all over x times the reciprocal of the denominator which is 1 over e raised to x so if you multiply therefore our final answer should be 1 minus x times ln of x all over x times e raised to x so this will now be the derivative of our function so that's it for today. I hope you learned something about the derivatives of the exponential and logarithmic functions and see you next time.